In this video I'm going to show you how to play the song Grip by Sieb and Bastille on the acoustic guitar. I'll show you the chords and how to play strumming patterns that fit with the track. Hello, I'm Paul Douglas. I'm a musician with decades of experience in performing, writing and recording music. This channel is dedicated to helping the 21st century musician. If you're new here, then please consider subscribing to the channel by clicking that button just below the video player. Also, check out the links in the description below where you can see and buy equipment that I use to make my videos. Now this whole song consists of just four chords. A E, C sharp minor, and B. And that's it! Now you can probably already play along to the song armed with just that information. You can use any version of those chords you want. I'm using the ones down the bottom end of the fretboard in and around root position. So the A chord I'm playing is a standard A chord. So we've got uh, frets fret 2 on the D, G and V strings and then open A and high E string and the E chord is standard E chord so uh, open strings are the low E, the high E and the open B string and then frets 2 on the A and D string and fret 1 on the G string. The C sharp minor at the 4th fret so I'm barring with my first finger across uh, fret 4 and then I'm uh, fretting fret 6 on the D and G strings and fret 5 on the B string. And finally the B chord is a standard A bar chord shape um, where I've got I'm barring with the uh, first finger at fret 2 and then I'm playing uh, frets 4 on the D, G and B string. So we have A, E, C sharp minor, and B. Now for the start of the first verse I would play the chords something like this. Now what I'm doing there is I'm playing the bottom strings of the chords for the first two notes with a little bit of palm muting. Then I play the high notes of the chord for the third note I'm playing. That's without the palm muting so I let it ring out. And then I play the fourth note on the low strings with palm muting again. So that sounds like this. Now you do that whole thing three times, then you do it another one time, but on that last time, the last B chord, you just strum the chord. So like this. Then we do the chords just like we have been doing another two times around. Now for these I would probably stop doing the palm muting so play them a bit like this. So in total there we've gone six times around the chords in this first verse. Then we get to the bit just before the chorus, let's call it the pre-chorus. Same chords, but this time what I would do is I would strum the full chords in the same rhythm as the drums on the track. Now what the drums are doing, the rhythm they're playing is something like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that's the strumming sort of pattern we're going to play. So, a bit like this. Three, four. And we're going to do that two times around, but the second time around we'll stop on the second B chord, just strumming it once like we did before. And that leads us into the chorus. Here we're going to strum the full chords in a similar rhythm to a keyboard part on the track. And that keyboard part is doing a rhythm uh, a bit like da 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 And that's the rhythm we're going to strum like this. We do that two times.
times around. That's the end of the chorus. We then pause for one bar where we don't do anything and then we're into the second verse. The second verse is just like the first verse except we're only going to go four times around the chords this time instead of six. Then we're into another pre-chorus which is exactly the same as the first and then we're into another chorus which is exactly the same as the first chorus. Now after that we have a, a little breakdown bit. What we're going to do here is very simply just strum each of the chords once slowly. So like this. Three, four. And we're going to do that two times around. Then it's the pre-chorus again, just like we've played it before. And then we're into the final chorus. Uh, this is a double length chorus, so instead of going two times around the chords, this time we're going to go four times around the chords. And once you've done that, that's it. That is the whole song. I'll now do a full playthrough of the whole song for you. Thanks for watching. If you haven't yet subscribed, then please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified of new videos. And don't forget to check out the links in the description below. Keep making music, and I'll see you again in the next video. Cheers.